buddy. The other day I had a guy ask me, what is it you look for when you walk back to your truck every time you park the truck and walk away, you know, a rest area, truck stop, wherever. What do you look for when you walk back to the truck? So the first thing I do, I look at the general condition of the truck. Make sure if I parked in a truck stop or a rest area, nobody's hit the truck. And I look under the truck to make sure that, that if I miss something when I was driving in, that I don't run over something. I look for oil spots or coolant, any fluids underneath the truck to make sure I, I don't have any leaks that I didn't notice. It's kind of a really quick walk around. You now you, you can, as you come from a distance, you can see underneath the truck, you can see new, new fluid leaks. You look for damages, you look at the tires, so you, you can see, you can see that they're adequately aired up, even though we have a tire pressure monitoring system. But aside from doing the post trip and pre trip, this is just kind of a mid trip. Just a real quick walk around, you walk down the side of the truck. You're basically just looking for anything that is out of the ordinary, anything misplaced, anything damaged. Mud flap missing or torn, any lights that might be missing. Um, we always shut the truck off in every part, so we always shut the lights off. If you want to, you could reach up in and turn the lights on real quick so you can do a light check as you're walking around. Make sure the trailer tail is still in, in its deployed position. Just generally do a walk around looking for anything and everything that could be wrong and then on your exit from your parking space you look for anything that you might run over that could damage a tire and cause you a problem down the road you also check the back doors to make sure the lock and everything is still yep. secure and where it's supposed to be yep lock or and placarded or we check our yep. placards each time check the placards every time we do a walk around every time we stop uh lock and secure tire and securement check that's what i call it checking the tires and checking the lock and or seal. Uh, always check, you know, make sure nothing, if the windows need cleaning, when you're at a truck stop or a rest area and you stop to use the restroom, that's the time to clean them instead of, depending on your washers, windshield washer system, you know, you want to do it with a rag where you don't damage the windshield where the washer wipers could. If you have something on there that is abrasive. Clean your windows, clean your mirrors, check your tires, look for oil spots or fluids under the truck that shouldn't be there. Look at, look at the tire tread to make sure there's no, nothing, you didn't run over anything and damage the tread. Uh, give it a general once over and back in the seat and down the road you go. Well, I've been walking with you when you do that, and it's really pretty quick. It's just a quick glance all the way around it and get in, and we're about ready to go as long as there's nothing wrong. Right, yeah. And, and of course, you're always listening for air leaks. Of course, when there's other trucks around running, um, you get to be 60 years old, it gets a lot harder to hear those air leaks. But sometimes they're pretty obvious, and if you hear an air leak, then's the time to fix it, not once you get out on the road and have DOT pull you over. And things like that happen when you're running in snow and ice and things, you know, colder weather creates air lakes that you didn't have in warmer weather. I guess until next time, this is Bob Caffey, Team Run Smart, be safe.